Welcome to Miss Trenny Treats. I'm Missy and today I am sharing how I made these Jack Skellington candy apples for part two of our Halloween treat lineup. The movie The Nightmare Before Christmas has been hugely popular since its release back in 1993. Since then, I have created these treats, which include this watercolor cake, these Nightmare Before Christmas cupcakes, this Jack Skellington dress cake, and this Jack Skellington Oreo cream pie. And since candy apples have also become popular, since the shape of the apples are perfect for his head, I decided to run with the idea of turning apples into Jack. I began by removing the stems and washing the apples with a little bit of water. I used these black twiggy looking apple sticks that I purchased on Amazon that I will link up for you in the description box below. I pushed a stick into the apples and then went ahead and melted my white candy mounts. To get the how-tos on how I melt my candy mounts, I will link up my tutorial down in the description box below. I coated each apple by first spooning the candy melts over the apple and then turning it on its side to coat evenly. I then shook off any excess and placed them onto a cookie sheet lined with wax paper to harden. Once they had completely cooled, there was this pooling at the base of each apple. I cut off the pooling with my knife at a slight angle to smooth it out some. And this is how it looks. I created this template that I will link up in the description box for you to use as well. There are three of each face. I have two different expressions on here. We have Smiling Jack and we have Angry Jack. I carefully removed the eyes from the template, keeping the template as intact as possible. To make his mouth, I snaked out a little bit of black fondant and then removed that portion of his mouth from the template cutting out the larger piece in the middle. I then rolled out some black fondant, cut around each of his eyes, and then cut around the small piece for his mouth. I attached the mouthpiece to the center of the snaked out fondant with a little bit of water. For his nose, I rolled out two small balls of black fondant and then tapered one end by rolling them between my fingers. I laid them on top of my template to check the sizing and then grabbed a little cup to lay my apple in. I chose the best side of the apple and laid it sideways onto a small cup. I laid my template over the center of the apple, applied a little bit of water to the eye holes, and carefully pressed the fondant eyes in place into each hole. I added some water along the bottom edge of the template and pressed the snaked out piece along that edge as well. To apply his nostrils, I held the template over his head to get kind of a general idea to where to line everything up. And then I just sucked him into that area with a little bit of water. I used tiny snaked out pieces of fondant cut to the length of the stitches on the template and applied them to Jack's mouth with a little bit of water. I followed all of the same steps with his angry face template and our Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas candy apples are complete. I really do love how these turned out. The Nightmare Before Christmas has always been a family favorite of ours and once again we get to celebrate that iconic movie in the form of a treat. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as I have yet another two more Halloween treats on the way. I love you guys and I'll see you next time when we make another trendy treat together. Happy Halloween!